For this practice problem, uh, we'll let f of x equal x times sine x, uh, with the domain being from 0 to 6. And part A says sketch the graph of y equals f of x. Part B says find the range of f of x. And C is find the x-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x on the given domain. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is just graph this tab. And we have x times sine. Let's use this trig button, sine x. Okay, and there we are. Now, notice here... Um, with these numbers, it clearly, well, you can kind of see it, it's, it's not degrees. And although there is a symbol for radians, but typically you would see it either clearly in degrees, and if not, it's radians. So we're in radians, which is good. Now the domain says zero to six, okay? So we can change this, okay? Um, well, I can't double click because it's over that number right now, but let's go to menu, window zoom, okay? And I will put zero to six just like that. Okay, so we see exactly what we're looking at. Um, if you were to sketch this on like on an assessment, like on a separate piece of paper, you should not go past zero or six when you're sketching it. Okay, so it says find the range of f of x. Okay, so the range means like the possible y values. So in other words, we need to find the minimum value here and the maximum, and the range would be what corresponds with the y uh, value. So let's go to analyze graph, maximum from here to here. Okay, so the y value is the 1.82 approximately. Okay, and let's find the minimum. Analyze minimum from here to here. And that's about negative 4.81. Okay, so the range is from negative 4.81 all the way up to 1.82. Okay, the domain, which is not asking for, is 0 to 6, but that was given in the question. Okay, so look at the y values there. Find the x-intercept of the graph um, in this domain, so you go to menu, um, analyze graph, zero, and from here to here, and that's it. Okay, so 3.14159, so on, and that number should look a little familiar if you think about it. Okay, all right, so that's it.